Hello, I'm Dr. John Rickleman. As an intensivist with over 20 years of experience, I'm bringing you today a case of a patient with history of vascular dementia that had a convulsive seizure and subsequent concerns for development of non-convulsive status epilepticus. The patient has a history of vascular dementia, some psych-related issues, but no other history of seizures prior to this episode. The patient had been in the hospital for over 40 days, developed a convulsive seizure, was treated aggressively with lorazepam and leptiracetam, which stopped his convulsions. The patient, however, remained obtunded and began foaming at the mouth. Cerebral was placed and immediately re registered 100% seizure burden. The patient was intubated for continued airway protection and the patient was started on propofol. He was sent for a CT scan for further evaluation showing no obvious acute lesions or bleeds, was brought back, placed on continuous EEG, and found to be in burst suppression. The impact of the point of care EEG allowed for rapid detection of suspected non-convulsive status epilepticus. It also provided real-time feedback on medication administration and subsequent effectiveness of this medication.